Most of my friends and gangs, my new nickname is Genghis Khan. But without the yay, but his last name's my side. I ride with that demeanor. I'm armed to the teeth. You're Venus, and you've never been to the Venus. <sighs> okay, well, you know what? Let's get into it. Because first of all, what I want to say, Ariel Powers, like, let's get this straight. Let's get this straight. I'm going to be as blunt as possible. I'm going to be as blunt as possible. You know, not a lot of people care about this league. You do know that, right? You do know not a lot of people care about WNBA basketball. That's why y'all got referees that make more than some of y'all highest paid players. It's not because y'all women. It's because people don't watch y'all. That's the reason. So Andre Iguodala says number 23 from the Mystics is, is cold or is fire or, or is, is, is going, whatever he said. He said she good. He complimented her. And her response is, let, let's, let's, let's go into it. Her response is against number 23 from the Mystics is nice. Her response was, put some respect on my name or keep this tweet to yourself. Bitch, what? And I'm, a t and I'm not even calling you a B word because it is, but I'm going to tell you why I'm calling you a bitch. I am going to tell you why. So... He tweeted, put so he tweeted, you're nice, which means everybody that follows Andre Iguodala or everybody that sees that tweet is going to look you up, giving you more shine, giving you more, more press. You should be grateful because he don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. One of the more popular players, one of the more known players in the league is saying anything. Because nine times out of 10, most of these NBA players only say something when they're on a commercial or when the NBA is making them. And you know that. What the fuck are you complaining for? Put some respect on my name or keep this tweet to myself. It, a nigga like me, I would have been like, okay, all right, Air, all right, let me do this thing. Ariel Powers is trash and broke. Would that would they have been better? Would they have been better? And then look at this. We deal with the disrespect on the daily. So for somebody like you to tweet that off the same device you could have looked me up on is unacceptable. Get the fuck out of here. He watching a basketball game and he tweeted that number 23 from the Mystics is nice. Y'all do realize when you have that back shot, when you have that outside shot, you can't see the names. Watch these games that come on tonight and tell me at all times can you see everybody's name. Tell me that. He's an athlete. Athlete, we call each other by our numbers. You call this person by your number. What am I saying? Us? I ain't played shit since high school. You call each other by your number. You say, hey, 32. How many times have we heard that in football? Matter of fact, a tweet came out with Ky with somebody congratulating Kyler Murray saying, hey, that number three from whatever, wherever is nice. And it ended up being Kyler Murray. And Kyler Murray was like, thanks, bro. Somebody who is much more popular than you. Somebody who don't need somebody to tweet out their name. And he said, thank you. I don't know how many times I've seen defensive players call out numbers on other defensive players. I don't know how many times I've seen them go on TV shows. So please don't act like this is anything specific to women. That's what I hate about this. This is not gender specific. Athletes do this all the time. This is not somebody off ESPN. This is not somebody who had time to prepare and prep. This dude is watching a basketball game in the bubble, probably on his phone and saying, hey, you know what? Just just BSing around and say, hey, that number 23 is nice. And he and you were so nice that he decided to tweet it. And that's a problem. You know what? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you why it's a problem. 
if he would have said number 20, he would have said number 23, Ariel Powers from the Mystics is nice. She would have replied like this. Uh, I've been nice. Maybe you ought to watch more. That's what she would have said. She would have had a problem with the shit regardless. Because she wanted to use that platform to try to play victim. When y'all have been getting supported by the NBA, even when y'all wasn't making money. Because of people like Andre Iguodala that's known and other players are more known than him, the revenue that they generate gets used to pay you guys. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it tangled. We deal with disrespect on a daily. So for someone like you to tweet that off the same device you could have looked me on is unacceptable. BS. Mind you, commentator said my name. Would it have been the same if it was a guy? Yes. Guys do that all the time. This happens all the time in sport. Please tell me y'all not fooled by this. It happens all the time in sports. But she not she not worried about that. She's worried about making him look bad because he a man. She using that to push an agenda. Oh, you see, he wouldn't have did that. Like he, like he, this, this bitch talking about, and I'm going to tell you why I'm calling her the B word. She talking about, he, she acted like he purposely omitted her name. He purposely omitted her name. Really? So Andre Iguodala, one of the nicest dude, Andre Iguodala says, okay. Her name is Ariel Powers, but she a woman, so I ain't trying to give her that type of shine. So I'm going to get number 23. What? You could have you could have even threw shade. You could have even been like, hey, thanks, Iggy. Um, it's My name is Ariel Powers, by the way. That's all you had to say. You trying to make it seem like he did that because you was a woman or keep this tweet to yourself. How many, if he had kept this tweet to himself, how many people would not know who you are? Because the people that's jumping in this conversation, they're just going to send you whatever little hate that they got to send you. And they ain't going to even research you. But if you had just let the tweet be, people would have looked you up and people would have said she is dope. And the people under his comment section would have been like, oh, you should watch this girl too. You should watch this girl. I think she better. I think she better. Just not saying people better than you, just comp competitive nature. Or if you like this player, you are like her. You messing all that up. By trying to serve an agenda. Come on, man. Come on, man. Now, she shared a screenshot of 2016 TMZ story. NBA star Adrian Iguodala. I don't want my daughter playing basketball and becoming a lesbian. Iguodala later clarified the remarks. So he didn't want his daughter to endure the same struggles lesbian WNBA NBA players have experienced. What the fuck does that have to do with him watching a basketball game and tweeting out your name? Tweeting out your number. What does that have to do with it? What if it was for religious purposes? You don't know what it was, but that doesn't have anything to do with it. That doesn't have anything to do with that. So you bringing that up was just to throw dirt on his name. That's it. Yeah, it was stupid what he said, but that doesn't have anything to do with now. People forgot about that. He apologized for it. Maybe he said something stupid or his true feelings. Some of our true feelings should not be shared. Cool. What does that have to do with him watching a basketball game? Are you saying because he said that back then in 2016, that means he's part of some part of some uh, fucking uh, plan? To keep women down and Nils was part of his plan or was he just watching a basketball game it don't have shit to do with that so let's bring up something that you said in your past there have been WNBA players that spoken against that so don't give me all he not because you have players in your own league that speak against lesbianism I hope you know that look it up This crazy, but this is why I'm calling you the B word. Hold on. This is why I'm calling you the B word. And I'm going to end it right here. 
area of powers. Okay. Look, while we're on the topic, it's bigger than me. Say her name, Brianna Taylor. You are a fucking disgrace. This has nothing to do with Breonna Taylor, who was who suffered a death because of police brutality. You used her name to throw smut on Andre Iguodala. While we're on the topic, bitch, we not on the topic. We on the topic of 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 you of of you getting butt hurt because somebody didn't say your name and they only said your number. And she tweeted. Here's the thing. She tweeted. Andre Iguodala, what he said in 2016, like that made any difference. It could have been LeBron that said this. It could have been Curry that said this. It could have been a player that hasn't even gotten a parking ticket that says this. And it would have been the same response. So don't act like this has anything to do with it. Get out of here. But you, but this one, I'm gonna call you a bitch because you used Brianna Taylor's name to throw smut on Andre Iguodala. That's what you did. It ain't on the topic. You use that. You use Brianna Taylor's name, which doesn't do anything but show me that you don't give a fuck about that situation and you don't care about her because you just use her for your personal gain. That's what you did. You just used her for your personal gain. This has nothing to do with Brianna Taylor. Because you're trying to paint the picture that, oh, okay, if he didn't say my name and he just tweeted my number, now all of a sudden, what, it, he's on the other side of Breonna Taylor now? He don't care about that? That's the point you're trying to put forth without actually saying it. That's what you're trying to put forth without actually saying it. You are a disgrace. The fact that you even used her name. You don't care about her name. That just shows you when stuff become a trend on the internet. You don't care about Breonna Taylor. I bet you can answer five questions about her. But you want to use her name to throw smut on somebody else. Use her name for your own personal gain. Not to draw awareness. Your own personal gain. That's why you did it. That's why you did it. You are a disgrace to your league. You are a disgrace to your family, to everybody. The fact that you did that is disgusting. It's disgusting. Whatever the cop's name that um that kneeled on, on George Floyd, imagine if somebody says something and I tried to, somebody said something as harmless as Audrey Eagle Dollar said, and I tried to liken them to a police officer that, that kneeled on his neck. Because this is what she's trying to do without doing it. Because she knows that people are going to draw that comparison. Now, she'll come out and say, oh, I didn't mean that. Oh, people jumping out the window. But she knows people are going to draw that comparison before she even put that tweet out. Nobody should ever say anything about your league anymore. The NBA should not even comment. Let's have y'all comment on y'all old league now. Let's let all the press that's coming from y'all league be y'all league. No more press from the NBA. And after no more press from the NBA, then we can see. Then we can see how far y'all get. Without the commercials, without all the press from the NBA, without all the all the um, um, press during the actual NBA game saying, hey, the WBA season starts at this time and this time. Let's see how far y'all get. Shut up. You are a disgrace one more time. And I want you to know that. <laughs>